Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you a driver circuit for a flyback, such as this. The flyback is a device that can produce very high voltages. More than 10,000 volts can be obtained from this baby. And this device was used in the old television sets and computer monitors, the ones that had the big CRT screen and this very high voltage was needed to accelerate the electron beam that impinged on the screen and produced the images. Now a flyback doesn't work used by using a source of DC or AC power. They need pulsed DC of high frequency that is a train of DC pulses of around 10 to 15,000 Hertz or 10 to 15 kilohertz. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The circuit is based on the CD4047IC, which produces the train of rectangular pulses. Here we have a potentiometer to fine tune the output frequency, which is on pin 10. Here we have the train of pulses that go to the gate of a MOSFET transistor. I am using the IRF1407, but you can use any power MOSFET. And the MOSFET makes the final switching of the flyback primary. I will now explain how to make your primary. And you can fit the circuit with 5 to 15 volts DC, depending on the power that you want at the output and the type of flyback. Okay, here is everything connected. The transistor must be mounted on a heat sink because it does get hot. And here is my flyback. The primary is wound on the core of the flyback. You can use between 6 to 9 turns of wire. And uh, flybacks do have an internal primary. However, it is not easy to identify the pins that correspond to the internal primary. And Another problem is that you need around 100 volts to excite the internal primary, which is not easy to obtain. And using an external primary, you can use as low as 5 volts and the flyback will work without problems. So let's now connect the circuit to the power supply to see how it works. So there you have it, as you could see at 12 volts the circuit draws around 4 amps and judging from the length of the spark it must be producing around 10,000 volts. The output voltage of the flyback is also DC. And uh, you can use this circuit which is super simple to make with to uh, different projects involving high voltage. 
So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.